Hey guys, um, so I'm really sorry in advance if you guys can hear this. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it is so noisy with the birds outside. Um, it's really nice weather out, and I'm trying to film quite a bit of videos um, all at one point in time, basically, and the birds will not shut up. Like, I'm pretty sure they live in the big giant tree that's outside of my balcony, but um, there's like crows and magpies and just really noisy birds and <laughs> it's nice and everything, don't get me wrong, but not when you're trying to film videos. <laughs> I should know better though. Anyways, um, like I said, I'm trying to get a bunch of videos out at one point in time. So I thought this was one of the videos that I had talked about in the very, very beginning. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to just sit down and get it done because I'm going to forget about wanting to do this video if I keep it up because I pretty much have forgotten about it. So anyways, these are my favorite masks. Um, they are drugstore and health food store. Um, I don't have any favorite higher end masks because honestly, I think if you're gonna go to like Estee Lauder or Lancome or any of those really expensive brands and you're gonna buy a mask from them, it's not the brightest thing that you can do. Honestly, a mask is gonna be on your skin for what, 20 minutes, maybe two or three times a week. And yes, masks can give you really great results, but are the ones that are expensive that you have on your skin for that short period of time, are they really that, that much worth it compared to a drugstore product? And I'll show you guys, I've gotten great results with these drugstore products. So, I mean, I won't ever purchase a Lancome mask. I don't even know if those exist, but that's only because I can find stuff in the drugstore that work for me. And I just personally would never, ever purchase higher end products like that. Um, maybe like a, a face moisturizer or something that you use every single day and that's on your skin for 10 or 12 hours a day, but a mask I think would be a little bit ridiculous. But anyways, I don't want to offend anyone. If that's what your guys' choice is, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to get right into it. My first mask, I obviously did a review on it a little while ago, so this isn't going to be a review, it's just basically going to be a little blurby about it and why I like it. So actually that's kind of a review, isn't it, but whatever. <laughs> this is of course the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. I bought it for $8.99 for this big tube. You can get it in a tub, like that has a screw lid. Um, don't get the tub, it will dry out very, very quickly and then you're wasting your money. This does not dry out as easily. So this was $8.99, I use this quite a bit. I've actually used this for two months and look at how much I have left. You barely need any with this stuff and it smells like peppermint so it's really great and refreshing. Um, some people might get a little bit of irritation from this. I don't know if you have sensitive skin, you might kind of want to stick away from it, but it is marketed for oily, acne prone, um, just troublesome skin, and it really does work. I find that once I use this, um, you can also use it as a spot treatment, so if I use this on any spots that I have coming up, they don't come up as, as quickly, or they don't come up as badly as they would before, because, um, you know, if it's just a really irritated red spot, you know it's going to be a, a nasty spot that's popping up. Basically, this will help kind of keep the inflammation down. Um, so yeah, that's the Queen Helene, pretty simple, clear cut. Um, from what I know, it was discontinued products in Canada, but I miraculously found it in health food store. I know that it's more widely available in the US, so other fellow Canadians, I can't promise that this is still in stores where you are. Um, check with your local health food store, see if they can order it in, but it might be discontinued. This might have been one of the last products that the distributor had or that the store had. So um, anyways, it lasts me so long that I'm, I'm happy. The next product is another clay base mask, just like the Queen Helene, and this is a drugstore version. This is the St. Ives Timeless Skin Mineral Clay Firming Mask. And what I like about this is this is a super basic clay mask. Um, it also has some actual moisturizing ingredients in there too, so it's not too drying. But um, if I'm not wanting anything that has like any special acne fighting ingredients or anything like that, I just want a simple clay mask, this is what I'll use. Um, I'd probably use something like the uh, Queen Helene in the like pretty much dead middle of summer when it's blazing hot and I'm sweating all the time and my pores are getting more clogged because it's a heavy duty mask. Whereas this is something spring, fall or just any kind of basic time where I want to 
help take a little bit of oil off my face. This would be the one that I use. And I think this was about $5. See, now these products are really cheap. And um, I wish they made more face pro facial products. I know they make face washes and masks and scrubs, but I wish they made like moisturizers and sunscreens and stuff because I think I'd fall in love with the whole line if that was the case. But yeah, anyway, so that's the St. Ives. And then my last and probably not used as often but absolutely loved mask is the Freeman Facial Enzyme Mask, and this is the pineapple. Um, and basically what it is is it just helps renew skin cells. It has the alpha hydroxy acids and the um, fruit extracts or the fruit enzymes, sorry, and those help renew dead skin cells and they're a really gentle way of doing it versus a scrub. And um, this thing, it honestly just makes your face glow. I will use this before any big event or if I'm planning to go out that night or the, the next night, I'll use this. Um, and I'll literally, like it says to leave on for 10 minutes and then rinse off, I'll leave this on until it completely dries. And you'll feel it dries to like this weird kind of, almost like how those peel off masks dry. It's like this weird plasticky film kind of. So I leave it until it dries so that my skin is absorbing everything and then I rinse it off and my skin does just glow after using this. Um, and it's so cheap. This was $2.50 or $3 when I bought it. So I stocked up. I have a lot of these. I think it might actually have even a new package right now. But yeah, one of my favorite masks. I don't use it too often because I don't need, like this in my mind is a heavy duty make your skin glow mask. And I, I'm kind of scared that if I do this too often, I'm not going to see as good as results, you know, like how your skin gets used to something. So um, I try and only use this when I need it, but it definitely, it's, I go to it every time when I have a big event just because it's worked so well for me in the past. So yeah, anyways, those are my masks. There's only three of them. I have quite a bit more in my kind of like bathroom vanity and um, those are basically my three favorite. You guys can go and check out drugstores and see. I know there's a ton of other ones though, but these ones are simple, cheap, and they've worked for me. So um, any questions about each product, if I've missed something or you have a question that I didn't answer with any one of them, just let me know and um, I'll see what information I can find for you guys. And uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. I want to know what your guys' favorite masks are, so don't forget to put them down in the, or make a comment, sorry, below. And um, yeah, anyways, thanks guys. See ya.